Good morning, good morning. Hello, and uh, I am back. Yesterday, yesterday was not a good sleep day for me, and uh, I'm sorry I had to skip the stream, but I was just way too tired. I needed the extra hours just to just to stay uh, to stay able to work at my day job. But uh, I got some a good amount of sleep last night, so I am ready to go this this Good Friday, um, and I hope that you're all doing good too. Uh, I know that things can be a lot, you know, pretty crazy recently. So, over there. Uh, now, if we take a look at where we are and what we're working on today, uh, we're integrating the images that we created in Aceprite into our uh, our application, our, into the game. Um, Applesauce, hello! You're revved up and ready to go. Awesome. That's great to hear. So there's a, there's a couple things here. First of all, I noticed um, I, I noticed last night when I was sort of thinking about what we were doing today and trying to like re-familiarize myself. Uh, when I run cargo test, and I think I missed this the first time that I ran it, probably because it was morning and I was tired. Um, I don't know if you can catch that. There's a flash of a window that shops that that um, pops up, and uh, that is the contact that we're creating in this test right here that I'm showing on screen. And it's unfortunate. I went looking through the documentation. It's we can't create a mock of the contacts. It's just not possible. By creating one, a window will flash up, even if we're not running a game loop. Which, um, it, it it's too bad because that means we can't actually run these tests in GitHub Actions. I also spent a little bit of time seeing like, is there a um, a headless uh, X11 that I can install and like run the tests inside of there? Because I don't really need to do anything. Just, just to flash that up and. You know, just just to give a target to to put that window somewhere. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything reliable. I tried a few different things, uh, and they didn't end up working uh, for me. Um, but I did come up with an idea. So I'm thinking we have two tests here. Um, for this test, test new player, I think this is going to be fine. But if we go to our other test, which is this uh, test config, so test load config, Let's actually go to our mod and config. Um, I'm going to change this from test load config to CI test load config. And then I believe um, I can do a cargo test CI test. And it only uh, runs the tests that have that share that name. So if I do that and in a Rust YAML, we update our our test where it says cargo test. This gives me a CI test. So now we can write tests that require some like graphical interface. And uh, uh, we could also write tests for our, our continuous integration server, which is GitHub Actions. And that can be our step gap until we figure out something else and also allow us to have our test at the same exact time. It's going to be great. So that was that was just something I discovered last night. Um, and I think something we're going to play around with. Now, that being said, let's uh, let's take a look at what we've got with the, uh, the player. Um, we have a very blurry player up here in the uh, the top left. And that's because we're having to scale this image up quite a bit, which is unfortunate because we don't want it to be blurry. We made this really nice, uh, I mean, really nice uh, pixel art for ourselves. And it's it's fairly much a, a clone on the original. I want to figure out like, uh, probably the end version, I want to like do something a little bit more unique to, to what we have. But uh, let's not worry about that right now. So instead, what that means is I want to um, I want to pull in it and like make it so it's it's a little bit clearer. So I discovered something that I can do with a sprite. Uh, desktop here in a sprite, 
I can. Here, jungle player standing. I'm I'm happy that I saved like the original of this doubt so that I can do this. Uh, I can export and uh, resize. I can make that much bigger. So um, I've chosen one thousand percent bigger. All right, so one thousand percent of whatever of sixteen by sixteen. All right. So if I do that, then uh, we're going to copy into our resources. So I should be able to delete this now. And then I want to, is it copy or, is it copy or CP? I, I can never remember in Windows. Um, I think it's, yeah, I th okay. So it's, it's copy, uh, so it's copy and then, um, the source is going to be want to go up a few. So up, 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 desktop. Um, there is jungle standing.png, and I want to put this into uh, resources. Like that. So here you are. And when we look at this, it's much bigger, which is super nice. Uh, and so if we just run this again, we get a giant player. Okay, so maybe we need to remember to turn off the, uh, the scaling. So let's go ahead and load up player. And I don't even think we need to scale it. So if we, if we save this, all we're doing is loading up our image and drawing it to the screen. Oh, uh, we get this, which is pretty much the right size for us. Um, I don't think we have to do anything else for this. Uh, and yeah, I think, I think this is going to be, this is going to be great. And if we take a look at this player, can I get more information? It's 442 bytes now, which is still not not that much. Um, so I think I think that's going to be good for us. Do you will you tell us? Yeah, it's 160 by 160 now. So that is something to be aware of. And then I've uh, I've already done the same thing to uh, to our running animation, so we'll be able to um, uh, to pull this in as well. I might as well just do that right now. And uh, we'll have the full size running animation. That will that will help out a lot. Okay, so um, with that being said. If I want to pull in the image, uh, something that we learned from the last game that we made was having individual components hold their own images wasn't the best of ideas. It, it forced me to end up uh, reloading them from disk in a couple different places that, that wasn't the best place. Um, so we had a sprite system, which was a good start, but it, it couldn't handle uh, multiple multiple things. So I'm thinking I want to have an image system and it will hold all of our all of our just raw graphical images for us and then the draw systems can just handle it from there. I'm thinking like we might want to have that draw it also. Well, we'll we'll sort of like play it by ear, but I'm planning on doing a lot more test driven development too so that, that I think that'll help. And so talking about that when we load up from disk, we need to uh, we need to have the context. So the very first thing I'm gonna do uh, before I even like load up this image, and I know we're all already loading here, but I want to create a new struct to load this. I want to create a so it's not in config here, on game objects. I want to create something that in like initializer. So let's do a new file initialize. RS, and we need 
library, we're going to pub mod initialize. And back into here. Uh, we're going to set up our set up our test for this. Um, now this is going to be creating a context, so I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to run this in um, in in CI. So big test. Mark this as a test. Okay, so we're gonna have a function um, test initializing uh, game. So what this is gonna be is it's gonna give us a like we're gonna run this and it's going to give us a context and the event. Uh, so uh, what I would expect to be able to do is. We need a config, so let config equals bring you in, load, and uh, we're going to load our uh, config.json. Uh, once we have that, okay, we need to unwrap it. Then, um, uh, then I want to uh, load up this this one and get the context out of it. I don't really care about like, I guess I just care that it works, right? Because I can't really create a context manually. So if it, it doesn't work, this is going to fail. So we're going to be able to do um, initialize. Uh, hand it a reference to the config and we expect to be able to unwrap it. Now, of course, we're going to get an error because this doesn't exist. So let's go and start fixing it. that um unfortunately i can't really well you know what i can we can run these tests but it's still not doing exactly what i want it to do so i probably want to then state that this is uh we're gonna get out a context and a um, event loop from this. Uh, and we want to be able to make it a, a mutable reference. So if I do that, uh, yeah, you should yell at me because it doesn't actually return this. So you are going to return a tuple of a context. events loop um, obviously we're not returning that yet so we're gonna go to the main file and pull this in so that's where this we set up the window mode and we set up all this stuff and that gives us our context back so if I um, if I take you out back to initialize here put you in all right so we're gonna have um, we create a window mode and we have to, we have to bring in the config to create the window mode to put that in here uh, and so build returns this tuple here well I don't think I need anything here uh, I can just don't need a match in fact I don't even need this so we create the window mode and then we do run this context 
and it returns um, a game result. Uh, and then we just need to bring you into scope. And then I think these tests are going to work. Now, as you saw, it like it just continues to bring up those windows, and that's 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 fine. That's why we're calling these ones test instead of CI test. They won't be run um, elsewhere. So then that we can ignore these variables since we don't really care about them. Uh, but now in main we can pull in this initialize. So we call this um, initialize. import initialize um, and then I'm going to pass in a reference to the config um, and then we can unwrap that. Now over here uh, we can do let context event loop uh, equal mute that and our main file looks exact like works exactly the same as previously. Uh, we have no errors. I should be able to do a cargo run. Perfect. Okay. And so what this means to to us now is um, we can now uh, get a context in our test very easily to. Um, so then create, you know, do do whatever we want with it. So if we want some kind of image system, like image storage, or images, uh, we would come into source. Now I don't know if I need to make this like a full um, folder that holds like all these different images and and set up like that. So I'm just going to start with images. RS, and then we're going to go to the main library, and then mod images. And we're going to just start doing the same thing here. So big test. Function. Um, and then this one is going to have to be a non CI test, just a normal test. So test create um, image. Uh, so the idea is we're going to need our our config and our uh, our config and our um, context. So so load config json unwrap you. Okay, so that gives us our config. Let um, Care about our context and not so much about the event loop. Uh, and this is going to be our initialize. Okay, so that gives us that. Um, and then we can now uh, in, like initialize our. Um, the images here. So we're going to do a let images equals images new and we know we're going to have to pass in the context um, and a reference to the config. Now the idea here is I want to have it load up all the images that we care about at uh, when we start at load time. Um, so you're going to have to be unwrapped too. So I'm sure you're going to have to return a game result. Um, and that's the end of the test for right now because we have to now go make this test. All right, so uh, pub struct images. Um, I don't know what we want to like store in it right now. 
I'm not exactly. Oh, you know what? I, I know what we're going to want to do. Um, so we're going to impul images public function event new. Uh, we know we need to take in a context. And we're going to return a game result. Um, okay, so if I just do this, the tests are, are happy again, maybe? Oh, we need to, I forgot. There. We have that use crate. We also need to do a use super. Do that. Okay, so you're happy now. Now this thing doesn't do anything. And if I if I ran the test, I mean, it technically works, but it's not really all that helpful. Um, okay, so the next thing is I want to load up the image and have it store a um, the standing player. So we can over here load up the standing player ourselves. So we can do um, standing player image equals. Uh, we can just do this from straight from. Uh, just qualify this as GGZ graphics image new. Uh, we need this context, um, and we need a reference to config dot uh, player standing image. Okay, so that gives us a generic image here, and then um, what I figured that we can do is. Um, we can do a, what is it? Compare assert equal. Assert equal that standing player image dot uh, to RGB8 as in the config, the context is going to be the same as images dot standing player dot to Um, do we have to, oh, that's a game result. So we also have to unwrap this. All right. So a bunch of things not going to work here for that. Obviously we don't have a standing player in images. So we have to add that. Standing player image. That means we now need to like go get that player. So standing player equals image new context reference. Uh, I already have that, so this might be. Oh no, it has to be a reference to the thing inside of config. So config dot same player image. Um, we can just question mark this. And now we're going to return images standing player. And you are returning a um, images. I got, oh, you're returning a self. All right. Um, so with that, our test should actually work now. And it does. So what I'm doing here, I tried, uh, I, I tried, I was looking up, um, images do have partial equal to each other, but they're, they're different enough that I can't just like load up two images and compare them. But what I can do is um, dump them to a vector of U8, RGB A values. 
and then compare that vectors to each other. So then this asserts that, hey, the image, like it actually loads this image. And so I can now compare um, uh, compare structs with like, compare the, the arms, the struct with each other. And so this will allow me to verify each thing as it comes in that it's actually loading what I think that is loading. Also, if I do change what's in the config, this test should still pass just fine. So the idea here is that um, now the, this images will just store all the images. And if I want to have my game object struct uh, pull that image out and display it, it can grab it from here. So what does that mean? Um, if we have our player in a game object, so here's our player. And I'm, I'm really considering like switching away from player like this because we just have player in here. And I'm thinking about just creating a, a generic game object, which might also might just be um, in the mod here. Uh, and the game object would be, um, I guess, just doing it. Uh, well, it would be like player equals game object new. And then we have to hand like the various things after to it. And that's sort of like what we did last last time. I was trying to get around that with these. I don't think that these are, are a good idea though. Like the more I think about it. So I'm, I think we're going to want to clean these up and uh, uh, refactor them eventually. Uh, I think I can sort of move around it right now by creating a, um, well, we can do, we can do sort of our, our test driven development here. Okay, so function, um, if I want to create a new game object, um, and let, let's say we don't necessarily want, know what we want in it. So let, let's like, the other ones I sort of like had figured out how I want to do it, so it was easier for me to like just write the whole thing itself. Here is just sort of a little bit more explore, exploration. We know we want this game object to be able to uh, load like to to display something to the screen. Um, display something. So we know it's going to have a draw system in it. So that's going to be interesting. We need we need entire draw system, but not everything may have a draw system. So it should probably be an option, just sort of like what we were doing last time. Okay. So if we if we do that, uh, we're going to do test um i don't know this might be able to be a ci test um ci test create game object well how about create um empty game object um and so we'll do let um object equals uh, I, so I want like a game object new something like this and I want to get a game object out of it uh, we might need a, a result on this so I'm gonna do an unwrap it's fine to do some kind of like game result um, and that's gonna give us Let's give us that. Now it's going to immediately yell at us saying, hey, we don't have that. So let's go ahead and break this. Uh, hub struct object. Uh, we don't really know what to put inside of it right this second, but we can impul object. Um, we don't know what we're taking in, but we do know that we're, we're returning a game result um, with self. And I guess right here, I can specify that this is gonna be a game object. And that way the test is like, can't, can't ignore that. Okay. 
I do self, we actually figure out what what I like auto complete in here. That's like my biggest problem with using self down here is uh, if it doesn't auto complete the arms, then I don't like to use it. All right, so if we start there. Now we want to have a. a we know we're going to want to have some kind of. Um, Uh, let's see, what would it be? Um, we're going to want some kind of draw system to draw the player out. And so if that's the first thing that we're going to do, um, we're going to want a, a draw system. And we want it to be optional because there's some things that maybe don't get drawn to the screen. Is that, is that true? Trying to remember what, why why did we need an option for the previous ones? Um, because like we had the static game object, and th those are going to be drawn to the screen just fine. And I can understand physics being something that we don't care about. Well, okay, how about this? We need a location to to place to place this uh, game object. So let's let's start with that. Uh, I'm going to want to hand it the location of where it's going to be. Uh, so we're going to do a location equals um, point twos usually end up being like where where most of these like how most of them are used. So let's do let's do that. So we're going to do a point two new, and I'm just going to say I don't know something. 10.0, 10 10.0. 10 um, and I should be able to qualify this as you're a point to F32s. Um, and I expect now assert equal game object um, dot location to be equals to location. All right, so obviously you're going to yell at me here. So let's go ahead and add you. Um, I don't know if this needs to be public or not. And I don't think the tests really care about this. So we're going to be a point two, two. Um, when I bring you in, we're going to take in a location, which is and yeah okay nice it is it is auto completing so i can use uh, location on there um can i find this in scope let's bring it in all right what are you upset about uh this function oh right we need to add in the location Um, okay, so if I if I run this test, it ran just fine. Perfect. Wait, would that have out of? Oh, okay. If I run the test, can I just hit? No. I was hoping that if I run it, it would. Um, I can press any key to close it. But that's not that's not true. The focus is up here still. So I need to go down here and then, yeah, it didn't, didn't auto close. Um, okay, so that gives us our, our location. And I think that's everything we need to then um, draw it out. Now, is that true? Not really, because we need to know, well, no, because we can have a draw system that we throw into it. And that draw system will have to be a dynamically dispatched one, so it's different for each game object, which means we now need a player draw system. And so that's where, in game objects, we can potentially out here have a, a draw systems. Let's go ahead and create a draw systems. Uh, folder, we'll have a mod.rs, 
and we also know we're gonna have a um, player draw system that are S. Uh, so to begin with, pub mod player draw system, and we can also start with a um, a trait. So um, now, how do I want? to do this for to test so if i'm testing the trait i'm not sure exactly how how to like because i don't want to like test the trait if that makes sense on each draw system uh, i think i only need to test it once is that true Not exactly sure. Let's ignore that for right now. So um, our pub trait uh, system, um, and we know that we're gonna have a draw on it. Maybe let's ignore that for right this second. Um, in the meantime, we can go into our player draw system. Um, uh, and we can start with our test driven development. Um, function, this is, uh, I mean, it's a draw system, it's going to include. Creating a new one may or may not, like maybe uh, CI capable. Let's let's try it. So if we do um, CI test create um, player draw system. Um, obviously, if it fails, we can change it. And we want to, I, I guess like the first thing is we just want to create a, a new one. So let player uh, system. Um, and you're going to be a type player draw system um, equals. system and I don't necessarily know what I need to pass into right now and I may not need anything um, all right so with that we should be airing out oh you know why because this draw systems well I have this I need to go into our main library and pull this in um, mod this is going to be draw systems that will cause our player draw system to have it there as well all right so struct draw system we don't know what to store in it yet and pull draw system Um, and then I guess this will be self for right now. All right, so you're all happy. Um, and you can pass. We can double check that. Ha, still doesn't. Um, okay, so I want to, for this, now, oh, it, okay, it needs to store, does it, oh, no, I guess it doesn't need to store, um, for right now, all we want the player draw system to do is draw out the, um, 
we just wanted to draw the what is it called the um, the standing image. Now we don't want it to have to like store a, a reference to images. We're gonna pass that in and draw. So I don't I don't know if I can like do any good tests for. I don't know how to test traits properly because what we want to do is we want to basically impulse um, draw system for player draw system. Uh, we have nothing that we need to do for this right now. Uh, perhaps testing our type here could help. Because what, what I really want to be able to do is um, that boxed. I want to be able to box this up and store it as a dynamically dispatched. So boxed player draw system is going to be of type um, box dyne draw system. So if I do that, then I want to box new player draw system. So if I just do this, it, it should still work. Uh, no errors here. So run that test. All right, so that, that okay, maybe this test will, will be good for that. Um, now, so far, I think this will work locally, or on, on CI server. Now we can go back and store the player draw system into the player game object, or I guess like game object, create player. And we can run the player draw system to draw out. And so that one, I don't know. We're going to do a function um, draw. It's going to take a reference to self. Um, we also know we're going to take in that images. So um, images, it's going to be a reference. I don't think it needs to be mutable. Images. We know we're going to need to take in uh, a config. Um, and a contact. And we're going to return a game result. And that's that's going to be it. Uh, the implementation details will now be inside of the player draw system. So, uh, implementing you function draw, we get this out. All right. So, what are we going to do? I want to do the exact same thing that we're doing right now. Um, oh, we okay. We need the location. We need the location. The location is inside of the game object itself. So we're gonna have to pass that in. So inside of here, we're gonna have to add in also um, the location, uh, which is gonna be a reference to a point to F32. Like that, okay. So then over here, location, reference to a point to F32. Okay, so then you're you're happy with this. Uh, I need to pull all of you in. Um, 
Um, okay, now you're just unhappy because I'm not actually doing a thing. Okay, so now that we have this, um, if I want to just draw this out exactly like the, the standing the standing player. Uh, and I don't care about like what state that we're in. Then what I want to do is um, we're going to say, and so that, that will be interesting too. Um, how do I know like what state to, to be drawing out? We'll probably have to have like a, um, the player state, like the, the state, oh, but I, they can't be in the game objects. They might have to be in like a physics system. We'll have to pass that physics system into draw two, maybe. That'll be interesting. Okay, but for right now, let's just uh, uh, get that drawn out. And then refactoring will be a lot easier because we have these tests, so um, we won't break things quite as much as we did last time. Uh, so we're gonna do a graphics. And I guess like the thing is, I'm not exactly sure how to draw this out. Like if I, if I wanted to actually call this, I do player draw system dot draw. Although I already gave it ownership of this, this is probably not going to work. Um, I'm going to do box player draw system dot draw. Um, so we have to pass it like a reference to the images, which means we need to instantiate that. Uh, we need to instantiate a config. Um, we need to get the context and the location. Hmm, so then this wouldn't be CI anymore. So then what, what would that get us? Allow us to like actually see the player get drawn out? That might be good. I'm gonna try writing this first and then see if we can figure out tests for it afterwards. Uh, all right, so we're gonna do a graphics. draw uh so bring in the context um the drawable so this is going to be the images so right now we're just going to do um images dot i can't get access to that are you not you need to be public So standing player, uh, you need to be a reference. Um, and then if I don't have, I just have a drop param new, but I don't do anything with it. And we're just gonna return this. That'll be the game result. Uh, and so we're not using our config or location right now, but that'll be fine. Okay. Um, now, if I, yeah, like this, this wouldn't work because if I, if I actually set the draw, um, it's not going to like show me, I'm not going to see the draw, but in our game objects, we should now be able to say that in a new one, I want to pass in a boxed draw and then it's gonna store store away. So we want a, we're gonna need to create the boxed set. Um, so player draw system, for example, it's gonna be equal to Draw system import you new. Okay, so that gives us a player draw system. We're gonna box that up and put you in here. So we're gonna um, box new player draw system. That'll be fine for you. And then we 
we expect you to store that, and I should be able to um, to run it. Uh, I guess like that's that's gonna be a problem is. That should just work. Um, now, if I create a new player draw system, to store it in. Okay, so then I want you in here to um, my draw system is going to be a box design system like that then here and I draw um, a box draw system system is going to be a box um, with a dine draw system in it. So that makes you happy. And then in here, pass in a draw system. All right. So no, no errors. If I run this test. Cool. That works. All right. So you're happy. Now, um, if I want to then draw this to the screen, like actually run the draw, um, the player draw system, game object is going to have to have a, a draw on it. And we're going to have to be able to call it. So if I do this one, this is not going to be CI available. So test function test um, draw game object. So we'll have to uh, generate our entire game object again. So we'll have a location, we'll have our, um, we'll have to, yeah, we'll do this entire, we have to have our draw system, our game object. You. Then uh, once we have this, we want to run draw on the game object. Game object draw. Um, so some things that we know that we're gonna have to pass in, uh, we have to pass in a context. Um, which means we we need a context, and if we need a context, we need a config. So that config equals. Mode take that JSON app you that text and care about you equals mute initialize you there that. Um, and we need to pass in a reference to config. Okay. Then, uh, you're all, okay, so that gives us our context, so we're able to pass that in. I don't actually know if we need to pass in the uh, the config at this time. Like, I, I'm thinking, like, I, I know I'm passing the config here. Um, oh, you know what? Because any scaling that we do is, or like a rotation or anything else like that, that's gonna happen inside of the config. 
So we, we will need the config for this drop. So for you, um, we're going to pass in config. Uh, just a reference to the config. Um, after that, what else do we know that we need in right now? Um, images. Okay, so we have to have the images. Is new um, so we have context and we have reference to config wrap you okay so that gives us our images and then we can now pass in a reference to that and if we think about this that the order here is important so we have images config context location so um, I don't have that same order going here so let's actually fix it Images, config, context, um, and uh, the location. Well, actually, the order is going to happen inside of here, isn't it? So, really, game object, context, config, and images is all we care about. The location is going to come from within the game object. That that's all we care about here. So then, in here, we're going to unwrap and. We expect that to work. I don't know if I like actually care about any kind of return value. All right, so back up to here. Um, we have this pub function new. Um, we have our draw system. Now we want to implement pub function draw. And if we look at what we're taking in, it's gonna be context, config, um, so self context context um, the config and images images Is, and we'll pull that in. Result. Um, and then I want to have like a self self dot draw system dot draw. Um, and this will be now a reference to the images, um, a reference to the config. And I actually don't know if I need do that this this might work oh you will need to be a reference to self dot location and that's what we return which is the game result okay so that should be fine um we do have 17 errors so that's that's fun what are you saying expected three arguments found one so context config and images uh, i don't need to actually do that there you go. Okay, no errors. So if I run tests, we're all fine here. Then, um, if in the main library we create, I guess it, it's not going to be the main library. It's going to be in the main scene. We're going to create a game object as a player and then draw it out. Okay, so main scene. If I want to add in um, testing for this. So. This is probably not going to be a CI available test because uh, I noticed that in main scene new, we have to pass in config and context. So we need those. We're going to need test create main scene. So we're going to have um, 
well, we know we're going to need a config and a context, um, also a map. But that's going to come from... Uh, I guess, is that is that inside the config? I don't remember anymore. But we'll figure that out. All right, so let's config first. Config equals config load. Okay, so we got that. Uh, then we want our context. Okay, so we have our context now. Um, if we want to create a map, uh, how are we doing right now? So I noticed that we have map that's right here. I don't have anything else that does that. Uh, and it's stored inside of, inside of the config. Um, we take a look at, oh, there's another map right here. Okay. I see. So yeah, this is a completely different map. So we're going to want to create this too. So main scene, we need a map. Uh, you don't even know. How to import this. Oh, wait, oh, it's already, is it already imported? I think so. So map new, um, a reference to config and the context. A map view. Okay, so now we have our map. Um, then we want to create the new main scene. So let's main scene. Reference to content, uh, refer reference to config, our mutable reference to a context and ownership of the map. And we unwrap these. Okay, so you're still happy, so it's probably passing. Um, then that's where we want it to like create the new player and store that away. So I want to be able to tell So do I want to do something like clone the map, create a new player. So that player equals Like do I want to do that? And then tell that So if I if I do do that, um, I'll need to implement clone on map. Which might might end up being more trouble than it's worth. Because like we've got all these other things here that would they would need to implement clone and copy too. Uh, just for test also, I'm not, not sure if it's worth it. I think for right now, the fact that we're able to create it is is fine. I don't necessarily, I don't think I need to like test the arms um, that it has like exactly what, what it has inside of it. Um, what I do want to be able to do is uh, run draw And it will draw all the things out. It'll tell the map to draw, and it will tell um, 
everything else like the player to draw in this case. So we're gonna want to like test the map too, but I'll do that when we when we update like and we have to do something to um, uh, to map. That's probably when we'll implement tests for that. So can I try this? Main scene dot draw. Uh, pass the context and you need to be a reference to the config. Wrap you. So I run test. Are you still good? Yes. Okay. So we're going to tell the player to draw. The player is going to tell the player draw system to draw, and um, the main library tells the main scene to draw. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this actually works. Hard go run. All right, so we still have our, our player over there. Now, if I want to move that player down, um, we would want to say that our initial location for the player is and do we even have that in the uh config that json i want the player image i don't have that is there a good way to like sort json objects out i kind of want to put this in alphabetical See, I don't want to sort lines. I want to sort like the full JSON. Because if I sort lines, this stuff will all get screwed up. I'll think about that. Uh, maybe, maybe there's a like extension that I can get that would help out with that. Um, or maybe I just have to spend some time to do it myself. All right, so let's do um, player... Uh, starting location. Um, and we can make this an array, but maybe this would also be um, location X. And we might be able to just get away with player starting X is something. I'm not exactly sure what. Let's... Um, Probably on the left hand side. So if I do something like 150, and then we do player starting y, uh, and we do, we want this like much farther down. We know that we're 1920 by 1080. So if we do some math, we'll figure out exactly where you are, but. Let's just guess for right now. Let's just do like 500.0. See, see what we get. All right, so that means we need to add player starting X and Y in here. So you're going to be happy there. So then we should be able to, in the main scene, create the new player and uh, give the new player a location. Now, right now, all right, because we're, create, we're creating this other player. We now want it to be a game object. So I kind of want you to be like a box design game object. Um, obviously, set, did I not? expected 
crate, construct game object. Okay, aren't you? Oh, because I have a um, obstruct game object. Oh, right. Okay, that that's gonna be fine. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Game scene. Uh, you don't need to be a box. You're you are just a game object. Is our player inside the player is where we care about like the box stuff. So, um, okay. So player is gonna be that. Uh, we can reset you now. So you're gonna be a game object new new um, okay so we need to figure out where our location is that's going to be simple you are going to be a oh we have to do a point to point to new oh, and it's going to be a reference to config dot player starting x player starting y and then our draw system so we have to create a new draw system for this too so draw um, oh and you need to be a box box new player draw system bring you in new that and you don't really care about anything else All right I don't know how I brought that in okay so then that makes you all happy kind of what or is up with you okay mismatch type is expected f32 found a reference to f32 okay so I don't need to the references. Oh, because you're an F32, you'll clone automatically. So that's fine. Okay. That gives us our new player. Um, oh, and you're a result, so I need to question mark you. And there we go. So player, you're happy now. And now self player draw. You take in three arguments, context, config, and images. Context, config. Okay, so you need to bring in images. So we expect you to pull in images too. That is equals images new context config. you and we can pass you in all right so then we will handle that here so uh config images Method draw has four parameters, but the declaration and trait uh, scenes scene draw has three. Ah, okay. Because we're implementing scene for main scene. Okay, so we, we expect you to also need images over here. So let's um, for scenes mod. Draw, add in. Images like that. Okay. Um, happy with you. Okay, what else is next? You have 11 errors still. Oh, right, because now all these need to have updated images. So, uh, oh, we... This is the main library now. So 
when we draw, we need the images. Do we have the images stored inside of here? We do not. So we probably want to create a test for, for creating a new game state as well. Let's go ahead and, and do that all down here. Uh, okay, so mod test and super. Function this is probably not going to be safe for CI uh, since I think we need context for this one. So this is going to be test create um, game state. All right. So what do we need in here? Config. Excuse me. Config and context. Config and context. So, um, config equals config. Oh, you're already in here. So, config load. Sign map. Um, get our context too. Pass it away as config unwrap you, um, and then theoretically we just create it. I don't think we need to test necessarily what's inside. We just need to make sure we can create it. So let um, state equals game state new. Uh, this will be ownership of the config. And the fact that it unwrapped, that should probably make it make it work here. Now, okay, so you're you're happy there test wise, but you now all of these are not working. Um, so we know we need to now store the images. In. Images, oh, you're going to be typed images. Images new, uh, pass in the context. We already have it as a reference. Oh, no, we don't. We're storing the config here. So config here. So switch you to so and then down here all of you um, we want to pass in a reference to self dot images and that should make you happy uh, then so all of you are good. Oh, uh, then it's just all of these end scenes, like these scenes. So we'll have images, images. Oh, reference to images. Okay. Almost. Nope. Oh, accidentally hit uh, Control C again. Fine. Okay, so images, reference to images. Okay. 
Uh, only warnings left. And so then if I um, cargo test, everything should work just fine. Um, and then I want to do a cargo uh, run. Now we've, we've got our guy up there. And then if we want to move him down, because that was the entire idea is that uh, our player is our main scene. Um, in our main scene, we're telling our player to go into the starting position X and Y. So that means in the player draw system, we need to take in the location here. And I think that we're passing that in. So, and we're just gonna do a dot dest, um, and it's gonna be location. And that's all. That's all we're gonna care about. What are you upset about? Uh, the trait bound point two convert from. Oh, you don't know how to. To convert from point twos. Oh, interesting. Okay. But what I can do is do this where we just do location.x, location.y. And then that should make it happen. And let's try this. And there's our player. Um, and so we can now just tweak our config until the player is down a little bit more. config.json and the the 150 looked a bit good so let's try like 7 750 nope that's a little bit low uh maybe like 600 then i could actually do the math to figure out where i want to put it but i think this might end up looking good. Like this is a pretty good position for our, our player. And so now we're, we're drawing the player to the screen using a much better architecture that we had before. And I'm, I'm really happy with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save all of this stuff up because that was a lot of code. But we're also, um, we've also written a lot of tests for this too. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. Oh, you know what? Let's also take care of all of these Unable to open player draw system. Did that. Hold on. Non existing file. Draw system, player draw system. Your draw system, player draw system. Okay. I don't know what is wrong with you. Yeah, that's so weird. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just maybe start here. I'll just go down and we'll ignore what we have down here. Okay, so config, um, you're telling us that we're not using you. So go ahead, you. using you. So we'll ignore you. Alright, player. Um, for game player game objects, I kind of want to just delete our player. And I think that I can. But I think if I like comment all this code out. Our main scene is just pulling in player, but if I do that, nobody really cares. So let's go to our um, game object player. You get deleted. Perfect. Uh, then mod RS. Have you. 
main scene. Not using the context right now. And the pause scene, have images. Start scene doesn't have images. Oh, you can go away. Main. Um, yeah, we're not using you. We're not using you at all. And I don't see any more errors in here. Okay, so if I do a cargo test. Yeah, I don't see any ears in here either. I probably need to restart, um, reload the workspace. That didn't work. I uh, probably need to restart the server. And then it, it hopefully will be happier there. Uh, let's go ahead and also, uh, something else I wanna do is I wanna switch our GitHub workflow. So not just branches main on push, let's do, um, all of our all of our branches, and I'll close all these windows down now. Uh, they're all saved. Whole bunch of changes in here. Um, so this is a huge refactor. So um, refactored, uh, basically like almost everything. Um, to allow join player. So lots of tests. And uh, then also we have, um, so we have lots of tests. We have um, a generic game object. And um, then finally, and drawing um, player to the screen. And so I might want to eventually do the same thing to those background images and make them uh, game objects instead of uh, just their own thing, which will make them a lot easier because then we can store them, I believe, inside of, uh, of the hash map. All right, so I'm going to push you. And that is going to launch our, where's my, there you are. Where's my jungle? There you are. Um, now we should be able to see that this is running. There we go. Okay, so we're running our um, our get up action on this. It's gonna run those tests, um, which should be. Uh, which should just be exactly what we wanted to do. Just the CI test run and not the tests that require um, any kind of, uh, well, graphical system setup. And if we do eventually figure out how to run the graphical system, then we can take that that sort of like CI test off. off. Um, but until then, uh, I think this will, this will make a run. So we can have full tests locally and then some tests on CI. And so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and see, got you pushed up. Switch over to the ending screen. Um, it is Friday today, which means that uh, no stream tomorrow on Saturdays. Uh, I'll be back on Sunday, I believe. Um, not exactly sure exactly when. I'd, I don't. It sort of goes back and forth between when I start my streams on Sunday. But follow me here on uh, Twitch or follow me on uh, uh, Twitter and then uh, you'll get notifications for when I am going to go live. I usually have a message around 10 minutes or so before I go live. And so with that, I hope that you have a great rest of your Friday and I'll see you all next time. Bye.